Wow, those feel good. Really good. Here we go. There's the hill we're gonna go down. Let's get it. <laughs> so sick. I feel like I'm skiing or something. Hill backwards. Whoa, that was fast. Woo! Okay, wow, that was really fun riding it on the big wheel setup. Um, I still haven't put on my aggressive setup yet, which there it is, create original coffee frames with some 62 millimeter wheels and some chroma dyed anti-rockers that I dyed to match the frames. Um, but, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail. One, I'm not like a super advanced big wheel guy, so I feel like that's not really my place. All I got to tell you is it felt really good. The support for big one felt good and wow, these are comfortable. I don't know if it's the toe box or what, but this is maybe the most comfortable skate I've ever put on out of the box. I feel like I say that a lot, but this is, this is pretty comfortable. The one thing I did get is a little bit of pressure, I think from the screws on this thing on the outside of my foot. So I might have to mess with that, but um, stay tuned tomorrow. I'm gonna do some aggressive stuff on this and then I will touch back with you guys for a full review. Dude, it's coming down. What happened? Oh. Okay, it's actually too wet now. Yeah. All right, let's see how these perform pumping. Like actually pumping around.
Warm up ritual. Get some rollerblades, I'll teach you. I, I have rollerblades. Rollerblading is the coolest. Period. Yeah, when you kill yourself and you don't have yeah. That was good. You. Keep skating my foot. go what's up YouTube Cordell here we're hitting you with yet another review um, yeah so I've decided this summer I'm gonna do reviews on like all the skates I can get my hands on and then I'm gonna kind of be done with being the review guy and I'm gonna pick two or three setups that I really like and I'm just gonna bounce around between those two things and but so yeah enjoy the reviews while you can because I feel like I don't want to be just a review guy but for this review, this is the FR, Anthony Potier um, Street Skate. Um, so it comes from kind of the FR1, FRX type boot from FR. Um, super comfortable shell. It's a little wider and it has some really cool, unique um, engineering and design things that went into it. Uh, I'm not the best guy to talk to about that. I'm kind of a simpleton. I want to talk to you more about how it feels, how it skates, what certain tricks and stuff felt like on it. Um, and as you guys have seen from the previous footage before I started talking, I did spend quite a few days skating it. And so here are my thoughts. Um, I love it. As far as my personal foot, I have a slightly wider foot, I believe, or at least a more square shaped foot. This skate is one of the ones that feels the best on my foot. So I imagine I'm going to be spending quite a bit more time in it. Um, we'll go ahead and start from the bottom and work our way up. I skated it with Create Originals, which I felt like it's the best way to test this boot because that's the frame I've been skating the most on all my other setups. So that's the better way to compare. Um, for comparison, I would just let you know, I just hopped off skating Mesmers for the last couple months. Before that, I was on Rollerblade Blinks. Before that, I was on Razor's SLs. Before that, I was on Razor Shifts, and then way before that was Aeons, and then before that was Blanks again, and my very first skate was the Rossi's M12. So I've bounced around. I have quite a bit of experience in a bunch of different boots. I've been skating for about two years now, and yeah, so I do know some things. Maybe not the best expert, but anyways, let's get into it. So I skated with the Create Original Frame, and then I just used Chroma Anti-Rockers, because I think they slide great. And then these wheels, I know you guys, I own a wheel company, they should be back wheels. But for some reason, my OCD just felt like this skate needed a slightly bigger wheel and our wheels are only 59 millimeters. So I have a 62 millimeter Russell Day red eye wheel. My business partners would probably be upset with me. But for the way I wanted to skate this, I wanted a slightly bigger wheel. And so yeah, 
I had those laying around the house, threw them on there. And I think I made a wise decision. I think the bigger wheel felt awesome on this skate. Because it is a big wheel based skate, it skates awesomely. The way it skates feels really good. It feels better than any other aggressive skate. Um, it just, I don't know how to explain it. It's really unique. You feel a little higher off the ground, a little more maneuverable. The power energy is a lot more efficient. Um, as you will see in one of the clips, as you've seen in one of the clips previous to me talking, I skated these big wheel on my ground control HD 80 wheels. And of course, I mean, it was kind of designed for it. It's really fun on big wheels and it's really fun on aggressive too. It's actually kind of like all around a super amazing skate. So let's talk about the uh, sole plate. It doesn't look that big at first. I was actually kind of worried about it. I thought it looked kind of small and I was like, man, that's gonna be hard to lock stuff. It's not, it works. It's big enough for top sides, big enough for normal sole tricks. The interesting thing about it though is boot down. As you can see, there's proof, like I can get boot down. But boot down was a lot harder than top side, which is crazy. Because most of the time, if it's hard to get boot down, then it's really hard to do top side. I struggled getting boot down at first. I had to kind of re adjust my body and angle and the way I bend my knees. And then once I figured it out, it was fine. It was an easy adjustment, but top sides, I don't have to adjust anything. Top sides just lock right in. And it's really cool with boot side, with boot down and top side trick. It almost feels like it fights you for a second because it is a stiffer boot. But once it like clicks in, it's like, boom, and you're in and it feels really good and you can like trust it and you don't slip out. Um, and yeah, so then we'll come up. There's there's the open box, like open toe shell. I think that's part of the reason it's so comfortable. Your foot just has the ability to kind of like spread out and um, just use the full effectiveness of your foot for your balance. It's got a 45 degree strap. I don't normally like 45 degree straps, but on this skate, it looks weird without it. So I keep it on for aesthetic, but this 45 degree strap actually does help hold your heel in. And the buckle is, it's kind of just a generic buckle. I feel like this is the similar type buckles that come on rollerblade and razor skates, like the razor's aluminum buckle is what that feels like. Um, it works, nothing fancy there. Um, and then let's talk about the cuff. These cuffs are a little stiffer than like razors or some other aggressive skates I'm more used to, but if you just rock them a little looser, it's not a problem. You can still get boot down on the top side, but I actually kind of like this stiffer cuff. It gives your ankle a very secure feeling and you're able to control your skates much better. I don't know if that was proper English, but. Um, so now we're gonna talk about one of the most awesome things about this skate is it comes with, oh, sorry, it comes with an intuition liner which most skates don't come with intuition liners because intuition aftermarket liners are extremely expensive. I don't know how FR does it, but with an intuition liner and with an amazing shell and boot, it comes for only $300, which this is essentially a $220 liner. So you're basically buying one of the most amazing shells for a hundred bucks, which is insane because anything else, anything, a similar setup to this built just like this would cost, I built this setup for about $400. Any other company, if you're to get intuition liners, a good shell, good frame wheels, it's going to be 500 plus dollars. So the value of this skate is to be mentioned. I think, I think it's a really good selling point on the skate and these liners are so comfortable. Can't say enough good things about the Intuition liners. And yeah, I think that's about it. I really like them. I think I'm gonna be skating them for a while. Um, let me know how you guys like the review. Did you have any questions? Is there more technical things you wanna know? Or was me focusing on how they felt and how they skated? More what you guys wanted. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And let's see you out there at the skate park.